All right, guys, welcome back to Urge. We're moving on in the subclass series into the Monk again. Right. In the Xanthor's Guide to Everything. Yes. And first up, we are going to have the Way of the Drunken Master. Right. If you don't think of Jackie Chan when you hear that, fix your life. It's a classic. It's a great film. So if you're new to the channel or to the subclass series, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of the abilities of the subclass that are gained, and we're going to then rate the subclass based on its mm -hmm. RP value, combat value, and overall class synergy nice. based on the abilities that it gains. So without any further ado, we're going to just jump straight into the subclass. Bingo. Starting off level three, you get two things. You get bonus proficiencies in the performance skill if you don't already have it. You know, based on, you know, being a drunken master, you can do some quirky-looking fun things and perform the way your skills work. I guess it's the flavor of that, as far as how they say it. You also get the uh, proficiency in brewer supplies if you don't already have that. Well, because, you know, drunken master, brewers, there yeah, you go. there you go. All right, the other actual ability you get is drunken technique. So whenever you use your flurry of blows, you also gain the benefit of the disengage action, and your walking speed increases by 10 feet until the end of the current turn. So instead of having to use your bonus action to take cunning action to disengage, as monks, base monks normally have anyway, you can use your flurry of blows to get the extra attack in, by spending the key point, and get the free disengage and the extra movement speed all, all right. is one big motion. So yeah, just makes three blows that much better. Right. And that gives you an option to use it. Okay, if you want to get out of trouble, you can still go ahead and get that extra kick in and get out of there and move a little bit faster in the process. Right. Uh, then at level six, we have Tipsy Sway, which actually has two different parts in it. Uh, the first one is called Leap to Your Feet. Basically, when you are prone, you can stand up spending only five feet of movement instead of half of your speed. Uh, and you also get Redirect Attack, which is whenever a creature misses you with a melee attack roll, you can spend one key point as a reaction to cause the attack to hit one creature of your choice other than the attacker himself who attacked you uh, that you can see within five feet of you. So uh, kind of niche use, but when you don't get hit, you can <laughs> redirect it to right. one of the attacker's allies yep. um, to try to you know help them hurt each other, yep. thin the hurt a little bit. At level 11, you get Drunkard's Luck. And you always seem to get lucky at just the right moment. Make an ability check or attack roll or saving throw and have disadvantage. You could spend two key points to cancel the disadvantage for that roll. Just, you know, as long as you've got key points to spend, another use for them just to cancel disadvantage on any possible thing. So, more nice and more versatility and use of key points. You guys know I do like uh, versatile options. Yes. <laughs> uh, then, lastly, at level 17, we have Intoxicated Frenzy. You gain the ability to make an overwhelming number of attacks against a group of enemies. Right. Uh, when you use Flurry of Blows, you can make up to three additional attacks with it, up to a total of five flurry of blow attacks, provided that each flurry of blow attack targets a different creature this turn. Right. So you just get to attack that many more times, but they have to be uh, distributed out to different creatures. You can't just hit one right. creature five times, which would be pretty crazy, but, right. I mean, fighters. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, fighters. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for the uh, ability side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the uh, rating section. Mm -hmm. So first up, we have the roleplay value. Right. So again, how we've worked this, I would say to put the disclaimer, yeah, is right. when we talk about the roleplay value, we're talking about how you interact with the world, uh, how you avoid combats, non-combat mm -hmm. encounters, uh, interacting with NPCs, things like mm -hmm. that. So when we're talking mechanically, the abilities gained through the subclass in those non-combat encounter scenarios. So with the uh, Drunken Master... The only abilities that you're going to have that are not completely combat focused, I would say, are going to be the bonus proficiencies uh, yep. with the performance and the brewer supply proficiency. Mm -hmm. And then also, occasionally, Drunkard's Luck is going to come into play because it gives um, regular rolls instead of disadvantage right. using the key points, but it works for ability checks as well. Right. And saving throws can sometimes be... Charm spells and things right, like that. To, yeah. That are non-combat, technically. Correct. Um, so... There's a little bit there, but there's not a whole lot. This looks like it's more focused on uh, the combat side of things, sure. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that, we're just going to go ahead and give it a 1.5 out of 5 for the RP. Again, mechanically, um, not a whole lot of mechanical things from the subclass that are going to improve on uh, the base class. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to already be doing with your background and lore and everything. That's not included in this. That's part. a given. That's yeah, not part of the... <laughs> not included well, in this. I've got to add yeah. uh, On the combat side of things, uh, you know... As with a lot of these, it's usually one or the other that they're yes. more focused on, uh, and that's the case here. Outside of your bonus proficiencies, most every uh, every other ability is tied into combat in some form or fashion. Uh, further enhancing your flurry of blows, obviously, you know, letting you get to disengage and get out of trouble if you need to, and move a little bit faster. Which monks need just more movement <laughs> because right. you know they're monks after all. Um, you know, 
the, the opportunity to get up using just five feet of movement instead of half. If you are knocked prone, let you get back in there because unless, you know, with this subclass and just base monk, you are almost exclusively a melee focused character. And you can, granted, you can have some thrown weapons as far as that goes, but you still want to get back into melee combat to be most effective. You know, redirecting attacks, great if you've got two people within uh, range, but that's the only time it's going to be helpful because you can't redirect the attack back at the same person who attacked. Right. You've got to have two people there, so useful, but not something that's readily available all the time. Right. Getting to cancel disadvantages, I could see I think it being a lot more more helpful with um, the, your saving throws is a lot more common at disadvantage right. instead of attack rolls unless, yeah, you're, unless you're blinded. Something, yeah. Once again, that's still involved by a spell to start with most of the time, unless it's an ability that causes it. Right. Um, so, it, again, a niche ability, but can be very helpful. You know, Canceling out a disadvantage, they'll tell you that uh, either advantage or disadvantages is either a plus five or a minus five averages over the long term that it, you know, it's either gonna, you're going to cancel out for you. And Intoxicated Frenzy would be so much better if you could just target the same thing or maybe just like... Yeah. Two, maybe up to two total creatures. Right. The fact that you have to target each Different individual yeah. creature with every hit. I mean, the odds of you being swarmed on all sides by that many targets is really unlikely. But if you get the opportunity, that's going to be really cool to do. Yeah, that's going to definitely be cool when it works. <laughs> and the, I guess the thing, too, is there's no limit to the number of uses you can do it. Right. It is Flurry of Blow, so that's key points, I guess, technically. Um, but by no. level 17, you, you got, got 17 of them. them. You got plenty of them, you get them back on short rest. So, so yeah, that's, right. that's not an issue there, for sure. Uh, but as far as rating goes, we went with a three uh, overall because you know more of the abilities do focus on combat. However, there are multiple abilities that are not readily available at all times right. or useful at all times. The Drunken Technique, the first one you get... We both of us have kind of agreed overall it's the best one you get. Yeah, it's always good. Because <laughs> it's always there. Yeah. Just getting a free extra buff to ability you're going to be using more regularly anyway right. is always good. Definitely. Uh, then lastly, we have the overall class synergy. And this is kind of strange, actually, because I don't think we've had too many of these situations. Right. But what's going to happen here is you'll see when it comes to being a monk, the biggest thing is going to be your uh, key points. Mm -hmm. And there's some, you know class flavor kind of things there with being agile and things of course too mm -hmm. which you know drunken technique increase your movement speed disengage things like that um and this subclass seems to be primarily focused on just making flurry of blows very good sure um though when it very good in certain circumstances right Let's put a little asterisk on there sure um but it is going to be buffing your flurry of blows basically you know almost all the abilities are doing something to your flurry of blows or giving you some kind of uh, way to redirect attacks, working with being agile and things like mm -hmm. that. Or, you know, Drunken Sluck, you know, being able, giving you more uses for key points. So sure. the whole class is based around key points. So getting any new options to be able to use those is, is going to be Correct. good for utility. You don't, might not need it very often, but when you do need it, you have the option, which is yeah. always good to have that in the back pocket. And again, Flurry Blows is one of the main things you're going to be using anyway, probably that. And uh, Stunning Strike can be probably the most use uh, for key points. That it you're should be, be anyway. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, so with that being said, with it being buffing uh, so strongly your most used ability mm -hmm. um, and, you know, giving some situational uses and stuff as well, mm -hmm. we went with a four on the synergy. So right. again, like I was saying, kind of rare to have a synergy higher than the, the uh, combat or usually yeah. they're about the same or whatever, but we yeah. felt like the synergy was just very strongly focused on improving your flurry of blows. So right. we had to give it a good score. Right for that specifically because it is one of the best parts about being a monk just being able to just dun, 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 dun. yeah you can literally just hit everything every turn uh, we, we could you, we could go into further detail if we had the time to uh, talk about maybe how good or, or bad or niche you some of these abilities are in terms of the synergy but as far as the fact that it does every single ability outside of just the proficiency from the top obviously right. all the other abilities from there on down either directly tie into helping your flurry of blows or give you more base uses for your key points which right. is what the whole class is built around so there's not a single ability that takes away or further and hinders what the base class is already designed to do. Right. So that's why it ends up with its, its uh, synergy score being the highest, which is, again, like you said, very... It's a little strange. It's, it's, it's unusual. It doesn't happen all that often. But anyway, that's what we ended up with. A one and a half, a three, and then a four. Yes. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let us know down mm -hmm. below. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so of our new videos come out. And in the comments, again, if you played as a monk or at Way of the Drunkard Monk, or Drunken Master Monk, yeah. uh, love Same to hear thing. that or play with one. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know in the comments down below. Always love to hear your stories. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.